but we don't have to explode shit. Less. <laughs> Less. <laughs> yeah. Less. Oh, shit, this is going to happen. Dude. We got to go get Dude. them. Oh, my God. You're not? No, I don't know. It's Nebraska. 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 This is the guy that had that Sega Genesis. I'm not sure. Yeah. Hey, I'll be back when you got that in Genesis. Do you see that? Yeah. Hmm. It was 20. Dude, you have? I don't know. I'll find, like, that lady. So far, I haven't seen any Genesis games. Cookies. They look good. Dude, those were some freaking huge ginger... Dude, those were some freaking huge ginger snaps. Oh, oh dude, man, sugar cookies. Coconut maroons. Yeah, I'm thinking about that. You know, I had somebody panic yesterday. <laughs> I heard. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so... I locked my keys in the car. Picker Tanner is trying to break in. Here they are. Got these hangers. Okay, I see. So what's going on? I see the light. Ah! <laughs> my, my eyes. I just need to get this end in, or I okay. could. Okay. Why should I stop this? <laughs> just hit the red button. Let's move. I need to find that sweet spot again. Oh, the sweet spot. There's the door handle. There it is. Correct. We are the Pennsylvania Pickers, and we did. Oh, I'm hanging my dog. Is she urinated? <laughs> no, she just urinated. But uh, we went picking this weekend, and uh, one of our friends, who's a bitch, because he left early, he was like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna leave at six But then he was just like, "Oh well." I guess my ride's here at 2.30. So fetch. Wanted him to be in a video, but who gives a shit? So we went to Penn's Cave, and uh, literally the th within the first 10 seconds we were there, we locked the keys in the car. Yeah, those. And uh, we thought we were trapped there, but we had a genius idea, and uh, we got him out at the very end of the day, but... It got Clay's car trashed, <laughs> and so we have some footage of that that we'll upload, but yeah. So, at Penn's Cave, I got a bunch of cool stuff, and I got a game that I really wanted for a long time, which would be Super Contra or Super C. I got it from this really awesome chick that we always get games from. She was really awesome. We, her son was there this time, and we had a good conversation with him, too. Then I got Gumshoe. Demon's Sword, which is an amazing game. And then Pinball with the case. And then I got an NES cleaning kit in the box. Which is always nice to have the box for things. Then I got a Duck Dynasty hat. 
and then two pins, one ET, and then one th Michael Jackson Thriller pin. And then I got some sort of charger for a DS. I think it's a DSi, but it's really gay because I paid money for it, and it doesn't fit my Game Boy or my DS, so I was pretty ticked when I figured out that it doesn't work. But then I finally got some ColecoVision games to see it, or yeah, some Intellivision games to see if my Intellivision works. So I got two Mystery Cart Intellivision games, and then Lock and Chase, which also has an Atari port. So we played that earlier, and it's like a really knockoff Pac Man. It's really gay. And then my Atari games, I got Reactor, Reactor, Pole Position, Adventure, oh sh- oh. and then Laser Blast, and uh, they're all pretty good games except for Laser Blast, that's a pretty hard game. And then I got a bunch of manuals and posters from this one guy. He was just like, yeah, I'll take 50 cents for each item. So that was pretty cool. So I got like three posters, which that's a poster, 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 uh, manual for Major League Baseball, uh, Operation Wolf manual, Excite Bike manual. Tetris manual, two Mario Brother Duck Hunt manuals, a Double Dragon manual, Roller Blade Racer manual, Skater Die manual, Excite Bike manual, Dragon Warrior manual, an ET manual, a PlayStation catalog thing, and then some sort of thing about the Grateful Dead that I didn't even realize I picked up. But luckily, he threw that in for free, so luckily he caught on to that, because I didn't, so yay me. But, and that was all we got the first day, and then today we went to another flea market, Leakty's, and I uh, got a couple nice things there. I got a Nintendo 64 brand game holder for a dollar. And then for three bucks, I got a Thunderbird aftershave glass container, which was pretty awesome. And then I got Altered Beast for the Sega Genesis. And then Bass Hunter 64 in box, give me the game and manual. And then and here I got at least over a hundred of the original Garbage Pail Kids cards from the 80s, which is always nice because I've always been looking forward to getting some of the older ones. And then, uh, so yeah, that was nice to find those. And then I got four Nintendo 64 games, each are a dollar a piece. I got South Park Rally, Beetle Adventure Racing, War Gods, and then Mace the Dark Age. All for, for a dollar a piece. And then I got seven games physically, and then I got an eighth game from Clay for a dollar because it doesn't work, and he got that yesterday. But today I got Dragon Warrior, Major League Baseball, Trojan, Millipede, Astanax, Mario Brothers Duck Hunt Combo Cart, Spy Hunter. And then this is the game I got for a dollar because it doesn't work for Clay. I got Immortal. Oh, 
Oh yeah. But I got eight NES games there, and then I got four NES games yesterday. So I got 12 NES games total over the weekend. And then the last thing that I got was a Mike Wolf standee sponsoring American Vintage Hard Tea for 15 bucks, which is awesome. It's going to be in the picking cave, and Clay just put on my awesome clone trooper helmet. So Clay, get over here and show them your finds. Mm -hmm. Yesterday at Penn's Cave, I picked up this monster hat for uh, 10 whopping bucks. I also picked up uh, Kung Fu for three bucks. Bad dudes from that awesome lady that we always go to, along with Dragon Warrior. I also picked up Karnov. It's not very good. Beetlejuice, which is really hard. And Metroid, which is really good. Uh, I also picked up a Nintendo 64 Tony Hawk Pro Skater for I think five or six dollars. And today at Leaf Leaf Lee's Leak D's, I got uh, two Nintendo 64 games for a dollar a piece. Toy Story 2 and 1080 snowboarding. And I also got five. Nintendo game, NES games, Platoon, and Road Blasters I got for three bucks each. And I also got Dr. Mario, Talk the Guy Down, got a deal on that. Gauntlet 2, I forget what that game is, but it's probably pretty good. Oh, dude, it was. It was good. And Tetris. I think I have like three copies of this now. But I just had to get it since I think I lost my other ones. But that's really good. And this is Pennsylvania Pickers signing off.